Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Check out your other placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. You know the drill. All right, Spirit, for Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know regarding love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented, shared the videos. Thank you so much. All right, for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. For Sagittarius. Ooh. We got Angel of Love. Well, that's a great start. What else? Okay. The Sun. This is all about new beginnings. Wow, okay. Adjacent possibilities. A common theme is this whole idea or concept of open doors, opportunity for all of the signs. They keep getting similar messages about you know, something happening where you can have an opportunity. And I see that here with adjacent possibilities for you, Sagittarius. This is nice. So let's get into the tarot. I'm using the Revelations tarot today. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. For Sagittarius, please, in regards to love. And I keep getting similar messages in the tarot as well for a lot of the signs. I think that there's a lot going on and it's affecting the whole collective. Right. And I shuffle a lot. And I still keep getting like similar cards. So we'll see. For Sagittarius Spirit. So today's uh, spread will be a little bit different. I'm going to be setting down eight cards and then I'll add one card to each to make it um, a spread of 16. Oh my gosh, we start with the tower. Huge shake up here with the tower. Oh God, okay, hold on. That was weird. For Sagittarius, please. The star, beautiful. Aquarius energy with the star here. Starting off with the tower. Justice, wow, these are awesome cards. Libra energy. Major Arcana so far all over this for Sagittarius, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? Three of Swords. Painful situation. Disappointment. But you're, you're getting justice. This tower is going to bring you justice, even if it's painful is going to renew, restore faith, heal. All starting with this tower, we'll see. King of Swords reversed. I love this deck because you have artwork for the reversals and for the uprights. Okay, so King of Swords reversed under this tower. Interesting. Then we have the Ten of Wands. Right under the star. Anything else for Sagittarius, please? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something with timing. It could feel unfortunate, unlucky. The wheel is always turning, though. Thank you. The full reverse. I keep getting this card. The full reverse. This is all about a reckless risk. Um, something that is almost like too risky to really take on. 
Usually with a full reverse, let me bring this down. Usually with a full reverse, um, can I do it? Okay, that's the best I could do. <laughs> Usually with a full reverse, um, someone just doesn't care anymore. They don't care about the risks. They don't care what will the fallout be. Um, this could also be that someone's unable to start a new beginning or is blocked from a new beginning. All right, so let me get some clarifiers here. To save some time, I'm just going to shuffle until it feels right, and then I will pick them all out at once. So let's see, Spirit, can I get some clarifiers for Sagittarius? Okay. Ace of Wands. So this tower is bringing a new beginning, a new opportunity. The Magician with the Star. These are some major arcanas here, guys. Major energy shifts for you. You're going to be able to manifest something based off of this tower, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This could be a uh, marriage, divorce. We'll see um, how the whole rest of the spread plays out. This is a contract or something official here with the Hierophant and justice, like an official decree or like an official judgment, something like that, like an official decision Five of Wands reversed with the Three of Swords. There could be multiple people involved in this situation. Someone wants to overcome the drama. Or it could be that the fighting got way, like, it was very difficult. The arguing, the fighting, the not seeing eye to eye. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Someone here, I feel, is has become withdrawn from a King of Swords reverse energy. King of Swords reverse is not a good person to deal with. And actually, I've gotten a lot of like either King of Swords reverse or Queen of Swords reverse in a lot of the uh, signs that I've done so far, which is most of them. Um, and they're very difficult people to deal with. They tend to twist the truth. Uh, they tend to try to manipulate using words and thoughts. They kind of play with your head. Uh, they're very angry, combative, uh, extremely cold and calculating. So I feel like these people, these types of people that are in our lives, something's going to shift with them in the, in the second half of the year. It's almost like most of us are just over them and we don't even care anymore what happens. We're getting rid of them. The Empress, so ma major Archon is here. Seriously, major Archon is here. So again, the Empress is with the Ten of Wands. So this is something, again, the Empress knows their value. Everything they touch turns to gold. They they're full of ideas, creativity. They can grow and harvest. And it's going to come with an ending here. Someone's dropping a burden here. And, and that's another common theme. Dropping burdens. Huge manifestation here. Ace of Wands, Magician, Empress. This is all about manifesting literally a new reality. Nine of Cups reversed. So the timing isn't perfect. For whatever is coming or whatever wish you're granting for yourself. I feel like you're going to get your wish, but it's going to come at a cost. The chariot. Wow. How many major arcana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten major arcana out of 16. That is crazy. That just means there's going to be huge energy shifts here. Massive energy shifts. Huge changes for your life, Sagittarius. Is that the cherry at the end here with Cancer energy? So it's almost like moving forward, even if this is a risk, or moving forward despite the delay. 
Bottom of the deck, three of wands, reversed. So no longer waiting, possibly feeling like you've missed the boat on something. This is a crazy spread. I'm gonna break it down, but it's just, I'm just kind of in shock that you have so many major arcanas here. And all of them except for one are upright. No, except for two are upright. So let's start here with this tower and ace of wands. This tower is something unexpected. This tower is gonna open the doors, the possibilities. It's going to destroy something, bring something down, or be just very shocking or surprising. And it's going to allow you, Sagittarius, to have a new beginning. Now, this could be you, Sagittarius, or it could be the person you are in a connection with. They could be going through this instead of you. Um, so feel free to flip it if it resonates. But someone's having a new beginning here. And I feel like this has been manifested or it's going to allow someone to manifest this tower. It's going to allow someone to manifest, to create a new reality, to drop a burden. And I feel like there is either a lot of people involved here, at least three, with the three of swords and the five of wands. Or there's just a lot of conflict that is like the fallout of this. So I feel like this is some sort of official judgment here with the higher font and justice. It could be uh, marriage, divorce, uh, something legally binding, a final judgment from like a court, something like that. Something very official. Something that's going to be rebalanced, stable, organized, in order. And some people are not going to be happy with it with the five of wands reversed here. They're not going to be happy with it. And, you know, it's going to cause pain and it's going to be very disappointing or difficult to deal with. You're withdrawing from this energy is what I see here with the hermit. You're, you're almost like removing yourself from the narrative. No, I'm just kidding. Removing yourself from this drama, this anxiety, this conflict, you're kind of just like, I don't even want to participate. Someone here is thinking and planning with the hermit, how they're going to deal with the fallout with this King of Swords reverse. This is um, air energy here. King of Swords reverse, very difficult person to deal with. And this could be someone you know, or someone you're about to know, or someone involved uh, in your connection in some way. But I feel like a hermit energy, you know, it's almost like you're withdrawing from this Sagittarius. You don't want to deal with this King of Swords reverse. You don't care about them. You, you want to like escape almost. And Whatever burden this is with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're going to manifest something. You're going to grow something. But it's this energy that I'm getting for a lot of signs where you have to let something go. You have to close a door before you walk through another one. You know, like here. You have to close the door before you walk through another one, you know? And not only do you have to close the door, but you have to choose to walk through an open door. Something here with timing, with this court situation or whatever legal situation this is, or official determination, decision, whatever this is, it might not come at the time you expect it. Or it might not give you everything you wanted. There might be a compromise. Um, it might feel like you're going against the current. <clears throat> Excuse me. It might feel like nothing's ever working out for you. That you know, it might feel like that. But it, you're still going to move forward. This could literally be moving with the chariot, traveling somewhere new, or someone traveling to you. We'll see when I clarify. 
uh, in the extended, but this is some, this is moving forward. This is victory. This is choosing a direction. Even if this is unfortunate or unlucky, it's not going to stop you from success, from moving forward. And it might be very risky. It might be like super risky for you with the full reverse. It might be that you don't care anymore. It might be that you don't care about the risks. Or it might be that there was a slight delay in your new beginning, but it doesn't mean that it's permanent. And I feel like you walking away, you moving away, you moving forward and not looking back, it's going to piss someone off. But you have to think about yourself. Now, this angel of love is very interesting because I feel like this tells me spirit is involved. And I have the wheel here. Spirit is involved in some way with the angel of love. It's like your love is being brought to you. There's possibilities here. Even though I don't have any cards about love or partnerships on the table, that is an energy that surrounds this. It could be that this new beginning is with someone you love. It could be you're manifesting love, bringing love in. The Empress is all about love, growth, fertility, beauty. This could be what you are manifesting, what you want to happen for yourself. You have a wish, clearly. You're wishing on a star for something. You've been thinking about it and it's like, what do I, how do I get there? What do I do to get there? Have I missed the boat? Have I missed an opportunity? Can I wait more or is it, have I been waiting too long? And again, Sagittarius, this is for you or for the person that you are dealing with. But in any case, these are very strong energies. If you're sitting there watching this and you're like, well, I don't see any of that happening. Well, then this isn't for you because this, this is energy that you... It's almost like energy that's moving towards a climax, right? Like it's a buildup here. Or it could be that maybe it's not happening to you, but to your person. Maybe your person is going through a tower moment and this tower could be anything. This tower could literally mean anything. But when I see it with an Ace of Wands, that tells me as a reader, something had to go for this Ace of Wands to show up, to be taken advantage of, for this opportunity to, to be here. Something had to go. Ten of Wands, something had to go. A burden had to be dropped. You're almost at the finish line. It has been a long time coming, that kind of energy with the Ten of Wands. Like you've been at it for a while. You've been exhausted, but you haven't given up. And now it's time to let it go. It might not happen exactly when you want it to happen. Uh, maybe you feel like you'll never get your wish. You'll never have emotional fulfillment. You'll never have satisfaction, but that's not true. The wheel is constantly turning. It turns when it's meant to, when it's the right time. And that time is not decided by you. It's decided by whoever can control that wheel, whoever you believe in that can turn that wheel. And once this, once this is almost like once you understand that it's not going to happen when you want it to happen, but when it's meant to happen is when you can get on this chariot and be like, well, screw it. I don't have to worry about it. I'm good. I just need to go on this journey. I just need to get on this chariot. And this is this chariot and this full reverse. This is your new beginning here. It's like a new beginning and it's like wrapped in love. It's like a gift. It's like a gift being given to you here. <laughs> 
a new beginning in love, essentially. And it's almost like you're going to have a lot of options here, Sagittarius. Like, look at all those doors. You can walk through any of those. There's even one on the floor. <laughs> there's, there's doors all over for you that are going to be open. Which one will you choose? But the point is, and I was just told this, the point is you have a choice. At this point in time, whenever these doors are in front of you, you actually have a choice. Whereas right now, for some of you that are watching this, I feel very strongly, and they're telling me to say this, you don't have a choice right now. You have no choices open to you. But this tower and this 10 of wands, they're working together to bring you options. It's going to be like the path is cleared, right? Like maybe you're on a path and there's like very large bushes that are blocking on either side. And all of a sudden some of those bushes come down and there's another path. That kind of energy. And I feel like this, this, whoever's watching this and is like, yeah, I want options. I want opportunities. Well, prepare to work <laughs> because this is not, the Empress doesn't just sit there. And the Magician also doesn't just sit around either. These two work on getting the tools and resources that they need and making things happen. Even the Hermit doesn't just wander around. He wanders around with a purpose. He's thinking critically, logically, healing himself, going through whatever emotional journey they need to go through to be prepared. And, you know, after the hermit comes the wheel of fortune. So after you go through emotional, an emotional journey, after you think things through, after you think your next steps, after you come together and listen to your inner voice is when the wheel turns. So I love this reading personally, you know, after the wheel comes the, the justice card. I mean, it's like connected here. After the wheel comes justice. After the changes comes justice. You are going to get justice. Whether it feels that way to you at this time or not. It's like you don't even realize. You don't even realize. And I have the tower and then right after the star. Tower comes first and the star. Something is brought down. And then you have healing or renewal here. The, the ten of wands. After the ten of wands comes the ace of wands. A lot of pro like progression here. I love seeing when that, when those things happen like that, I love seeing it. Now, a lot of you are dealing with a third party situation where there's more, three or more people involved and that is making things difficult. Those are delays, but they're not complete stops. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated with you. I hope you got something out of this reading and, um, yeah, take care.